Uh, I'm Jared Kaufman. I'm one of the lead framers. We're working on a commercial site today, so we all have pants and boots on, unfortunately. So, my set is, I have Badgers. Joel made these for me. He's the founder of Badgers. Um, they're pretty awesome. We met him at JLC, um, so he uh, kind of suckered us into getting the custom bags, which we definitely do not regret. I'm really a fan of them so far. They're kind of the perfect combo between uh, like Oxys and Diamondbacks. They have a lot more open space. I can fit my hands inside. Hammer in the sleeve, of course. I got a Pika pencil. I also just keep a normal pencil with a blue keel. I use the keel for layout a lot. Got a uh, laser measurer. Use that all the time. Stabila. The only thing about these is I feel like I can't find a good spot for the Stabila. I could kind of go in the back here, but if I really pushed, it could go through. And if I put it in this pocket, the little lip gets caught pretty often. So I don't really know where I want that yet. Keep this Allen wrench. This is a four, five, and six size Allen wrench. And it is perfect for doing any maintenance on pretty much any Hitachi tool. Utility knife, which is just a Spec Ops. Uh, we saw them at JLC as well. They were super awesome. Tape measure is one of these DeWalt 35. Um, I don't know if anyone knows this, but DeWalt and Fat Max are literally made in the same factory right now. Um, on the box this came in, I looked at this next to the Fat Max and literally the same building. So it's just a different logo. The thing I liked about it was the hook. Being a little wider, I can hook a little bit more stuff. Chalk line, this is a Tajima Chalkrite Dura, I guess. So this is probably my favorite chalk line I've used. It's, I, looking at it, I always thought it would be bulky, but it actually is one of the slimmest feeling chalk lines I've used. So that's the entire right side. Also, the, the Diamondback gun hook here, which is kind of a perfect spot and just perfect for holding the nail gun. Got the uh, blue chalk line here. This, I keep two colors kind of for layout purposes. If I mess something up, I can use a different color. Crescent, 12 inch folding square. Uh, kind of nice for marking rake cuts. Got my cat's paw. So this is something, if you guys follow the Instagram, you'll see I actually was talking to Joel over email and saying that down here was just a little bit too low for me. So he was like, well, why don't you staple some webbing on there? I happen to have some yellow webbing because that's the rest of the bags. And so I did that and it's been working perfectly. I uh, don't really have many other tools in here. Sharpie, psh, psh. <laughs> that's what we call them. In the back I have, I don't remember what it's called, like a slingshot or something from Diamondback. It just clips on the back. And it's kind of a good spot for the chisel. The thing I like about it there is there's not a bottom of the pocket for it to hit and cut. Also in this little pocket, I have a uh, five point laser. So this is great for leveling walls, leveling floors, pretty much leveling or squaring anything you could possibly need to. So I like keeping that on me. And then last but not least, got the little uh, diamond back sack thing. I just kind of put water bottle, gloves, whatever in there. Um, it all just kind of does whatever. So anyways, that's, uh, that's my bags set up. What's up guys? What's up Renegade Construction <laughs> Boys? <laughs> We're uh, doing a little tool or uh, tool belt review. So I wanted to show off my setup. First off, you gotta have the hammer holster, hammer holster, orange, orange hammer, <laughs> cat spa. I, I had the cat spa on my old diamond bags back here and it always hit my leg. So I always hated that. I would have bought, if I had diamond bags for longer, I would have bought the cat spa hammer holster. That was the only thing I didn't like about that. I got my air tool in here. I don't know if you can see that. But I, what I like about these, that there's so much bigger pockets than most of the tool bags I've had. I had Oxys, which I had the extra bag down here before. 
But this, honestly, I, I feel like I actually have more space than I'm used to. I have a little notepad here. I'm usually the cut guy. So this is a waterproof notebook that I have right here so I can write down whatever measurements, you know. I have this square, this awesome square that I recommend to everyone. I love it. As a cut guy, I don't have to have a big square or flip it or... I got a couple bits in here. I put miscellaneous stuff in here, sinkers, whatever. Back here, honestly, honestly one of my favorite things about these bags, and it was a little accessory. It was, it's a perfect water bottle holder. So now I don't have to set it down somewhere and get knocked over. I have my laser measure, stair gauges all hooked back there. I have a laser level here. This is where I hook the nail guns. Um, obviously tape, Milwaukee 35 wide. I have a little block in there just so it stays up a little higher. Actually, let's show the block. Come a little closer. Is it we usually, when I put it in, it'll fall in there and it's, I, that's not bad, as bad as the Diamondbacks actually, but with this block, it just makes life just a tiny bit easier. I have a screwdriver here and I have a bunch of tips down here. I've used these little snippers once out of the four years I've worked. And one of the one time was literally last week for Jared. So <laughs> fixing his tool bags actually, doing his little up here with the cat's ball. And then I have adjustable wrench, which shockingly comes in way more handy than you would ever know. Uh, my pencil down, or my whatever it's called, razor down here. The only thing I don't like about this is it does go in too far. I've tried to put a block in there, but it, the pocket's a little too big. But I might put a little string on here so I can grab it. Gloves in here. And then when I have my phone, I have my phone in there. It's super awesome. I absolutely love these bags. And then I also wear suspenders sometimes. These nice maroon ones when I'm when I'm feeling it. So that's it, folks. Oh, and chalk line in here. Nothing else usually goes in there. But yeah, I love these guys. Oh, and you can't ignore the tactical belt. Did you know that Badger was the first belt company to install it on their bags? That's right. Badger, cool. Badger did the Cobra first. Yep. Which is pretty cool. and I'm also married to Landon. So these are actually Landon's old diamond bags, but he gave them to me. Um, they're a lot nicer than my old ones. They had just like some leather, like the wall, something from like Home Depot, and they kind of sucked. First thing that I like is the hammer sleeve. It's a lot easier to take in and out, but the cat's paw I have to put in there because if I put it back here in this pocket, it falls out all the time and it's really obnoxious. So I just put it in with my hammer because it doesn't really interfere with it until I get another one to put right here. So I've got my chisel, my safety glasses, my square, Tico's if I need them. And then I've got my tape, which is Spec Ops. Utility knife is also Spec Ops. It has a nice actually pocket for my phone, which I like. Right now I'm approving all of like the Home Depot transactions for my dad, so it's nice to access it easy and then I can put my uh, chalk right in here and then I've also actually been using this little guy and I attach it to our steel and hook my tape for doing layout but yeah they're really nice I really like that it clips like this so it makes it a lot easier to take on and off and if I'm like putting on my safety vest or like a harness then I can leave it on and my suspenders will hold it up till I put my stuff on which I really like and then obviously the suspenders, like my bruises on my hips finally went away because it's holding a lot of the weight and it makes it a lot more comfortable. I finished! Alright, hey guys, my name is Luke. I've been working for Kaufman for not too long now. Month and month and some change. Long enough to become our friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got some oxys, not too much in here. I have a really nice crescent square, same as Jared. Got my chalk line down here. Uh, this big pocket I usually use for 
my food, my <laughs> snacks, and uh, I have some lag bolts in there for just in case. Just to keep my hand, my hand bangs in here. In this bag, not too much. I have a couple pencils, one with keel, one not with. Torpedo. These pockets are empty. I can't wait to fill them. Oh yeah. I got a Stanley 35 and an S-Wing 19 ounce. I love this hammer. I don't, I wish the face was bigger, but other than that, no complaints. But yeah. He loves his Stanley. And Jared gave me this nice Bosch bag. I just keep my gloves in it. Oh yeah, yeah. beautiful. who can't play, pull nails. So. Oh, he and, did great. It was his yeah. hammer's fault. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was and, his hammer's fault. And why I spent 200 bucks on them? Hammer. <laughs> but uh, I've been working for Coffin for three months now, and I bought Jared's old bags after he got the Badgers. So I have, on the left side, I have my pocket of hand bangs, my square, and then my knife, my cat's paw, and my chalk line. On this side, I yeah. have my tape measure with a block, just like landing. I got my hammer, my pencil, my two markers here, and then my tool for my saw. And that's about it. Beautiful. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? My name is Tyrell. Um, so I wear the Badgers most of the time. Um, we'll start on the fastener side. So at the top, I have a couple bits. Nothing special, a Malco quarter and 5 sixteenths. A Phillips head, because that's how I use a Phillips head a lot for my other job. Uh, Stanley Fat Max goes 25. on the left side because... 25 or 25, 25. It stays on the left side because that's the right side. Speed square. Um, in the main pouch, I'm either usually here. I'm using racks and nails or screws. I usually keep eights in the back and then 16 hand drives in the front pouch. And uh, on this side, I usually carry uh, some sort of like air blower device that will go into a hose and then uh, a nail punch, like a heavy duty nail punch, which is nice for toe nailing. I keep my cast paw on the back on this little slot thing. Uh, I just got that. I don't mind the thing on the side on the Badgers, but sometimes it like catches me in the leg and it seemed to work well. We're gonna try it out for a little bit longer, see if I stick with it. On this side, at the top, we've got the nicotine. <laughs> uh, only. Yep, hammer, hammer sleeve uh, with the M1. Uh, if you're gonna own one hammer, it would probably be the M1. Um, pencils here, knife, I uh, have a Pika in the back, I usually carry an extension, and then I've got the, the tool shield from Occidental, I keep a scratch all in there, and then a chisel. Phone stays there, chalk box, and then just like extra bits, you never know what we're going to run into. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. And a good attitude in the other pocket over there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have a spot for the good attitude no. somewhere? You should really add that no. in there. <laughs> I use Occidentals. Hi, Hi. <laughs> but I don't know what the belt is from. It's not an Occidental belt. And that's you made all it yourself. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I made it myself. 
No, okay, so let's uh, let's start it in the left pouch over here. We got the square, speed square. That's pretty cool. Uh, we also, what is this called, Jared? <laughs> yeah, one of those things. Jared gave it to me, so I treasure it with all my heart. Then we also have a cat's claw or paw, however you say it. It's pretty cool. I have a flashlight. It has a magnet on the back. That's pretty fun. And I also have some gloves, but they're kind of old. These pockets just hold nails or maybe a water bottle whenever I'm feeling spicy. And yeah, over here we have a hammer. It is a... I can't... Yes, thank you. I can, I can read it. It's a Vaughn. It's a, it's a Vaughn. 23 ounces. Pretty fun. Uh, then we have a tape measure. This is not mine. This is Jared's. Um, I lost mine. <laughs> This is a Lufkin. Okay, over on the right pocket, we got these guys right here. Uh, two chalk lines. This one is red. The other one is blue. Laura found this in the dirt and I stole it. So, yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, then we have the torpedo. We got the pencil with the keel and the hose. Is that what it is? Yep, sprinkler line. Yeah, sprinkler line. Then we have an X-Acto blade, also Jared's, that I stole. <laughs> My uh, is sponsored by Jerry. Yeah, basically. Uh, then we have these cool glasses. I love these guys. Um, safety glasses, and you don't have to look like a dork at the same time. And then I got my phone that I just tuck in right here. And I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, I'll shamelessly plug your YouTube channel. Too. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, you're, you're, <laughs> you're, 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 you